Bubble Pop Kids here and get ready for my homemade slime collection and my first ever Q&A. Rats now. Welcome back to my table, you little bubble teens. And if you love squish and slime, you are in for a treat. We have 12 little containers of all of Colleen's homemade slimes. These are all the slime she put in my mystery stress ball that I've cut on other shows. And every time I open them, I decided to like save it in a little container. Ooh, look at those. And now I have a whole entire collection. Before I start popping open these containers of this amazing slime and squishy stuff, I am gonna do a tiny, not a full one, but like a little Q&A. So many requests to do a Q&A for such a long time. And let's do a little one right now. Actually, since I'm not going to be showing myself in this question and answer, I'm just going to squish on a little slime here. One of Colleen's slimes. Oh, this one is so, so cool. It's got those little perler beads, and it almost looks like they are floating in water. Look at that. So the first question I always get is, what is your name, Bubble? Obviously, my name isn't Bubble, but it really is a nickname. I'm such like a bubbly personality. People have been calling me Bubble since I think like kindergarten. Stuck for years. All my friends call me that. But my real name is it is my name is Shannon I have left oh you guys have left me so many questions what is your name and you always kind of try to guess and recently I've been saying it starts with an S but so far nobody guessed it so when you guys are curious what my name is there it is next question my second most requested question for years is, are you married? Yes, I am. I am married. And the other question is, do you have kids? Yes, I do. I actually have three little boys. They are, I have two twins. They are about to turn seven. And I have a little boy who just turned five. And it's so funny because they almost are like triplets. They're all the same size and the same height and weight. And everyone thinks they are like triplets. But they're not, they are two different ages. So yes, Bubble has little kids. Boy, and while I'm talking to you, I am trying to squish on this. It looks like it melted. One of Colleen's little slimes has melted. Let me try a different one. Another very popular question I've been getting for years is, where do you live? Well, I've actually lived in three places. I've lived in California, I've lived in New York City for the longest time, and now I live back in my hometown in Connecticut. So I live on the East Coast. I always get so many people thinking I live in Florida just because I go to Disney all the time and I tell you guys that, but I love traveling to Florida, but I don't live there. I live in Connecticut. You guys also leave me tons of comments and you're like, why don't you put your kids in the video? Well, first of all, most of my videos are like girly-like. They're lip balms and squishies and slime and my kids do love slime, but they're not into all the makeup and stuff. So basically, I live with five boys. I have my dog as a boy, my husband, three sons, and I like to show my girly side. So basically, all these videos, I usually do them by myself, but if you guys ever wanna see them in a video, leave me a comment and maybe we'll do one with them. Maybe like a candy bonanza. Just let me know. We're ready to kick off this homemade slime collection, but I do have to answer one more question. Recently, not for always, but recently, it has been like the top question. A lot, a lot of comments about this. So I guess there's another Squishy channel and it's uh, Dr. Squish, I think that's the name of it. And so many of you, there's two questions. Why do you copy her and is she Colleen? Is she your friend? Do you work with her? So the answer to that is no, I don't know her. She's not my friend, I don't work with her. I've never met her before. And I do not think I've copied her. I mean, I've been doing Squishies for a super long time. So many channels do squishies. A lot of people do them, they do slime. So many people are saying like, do you know her? Do you work with her? Uh, actually, no I don't. I work with Colleen, she's been my friend for years. She actually lives next door to me. And Colleen doesn't actually come on the show because she has her own business. She just had a little baby, so she's always so busy. But um, <laughs> yeah, so that is that. Uh, maybe we could put an end to those rumors. I am literally getting hundreds of messages a day. Do you know Dr. Squish? Do you know her family? Do you know what she does? You know, I mean, I don't know her at all. I don't know her. I, I just, I really don't. And uh, a lot of you guys have left me comments saying that she, you think that she might have another channel. I don't know for sure. I kind of think she does, that she's had another channel for a long time, but I do not know for sure if it's her. It sounds like her. 
and it's the name My Kawaii Family. So I think that if you guys want to know a little bit more about her, maybe you should watch it. I don't know, <laughs> but I don't. I really can't give you any info on her. Didn't know her. I love doing this. I've had bubble pop kits for a super long time. Kind of like a variety of squishies, lip balm, other cute things, Disney princess. And I enjoy doing it so much. I'm not giving up anytime soon. I love doing my squishy chopping. I really haven't copied it from anyone. And I'm gonna keep doing what I do. And with that being said, not only can I talk about these negative comments, I have to talk about the billions of sweet comments. You little bubble teenies are the sweetest little spams in the world. You have been leaving me the nicest messages. You're so supportive. You always ask about the kids. You always say such sweet things. It lifts me up. It makes me feel so good. And every time, most of the time when I read these messages, I'm just so, so happy. So I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. You really make me happy. And I'm so thankful for your little bubble teens. Howdy, little sweetie pie. So now that we did our little mini Q&A, it is time to squish on some slime. What do you guys say if you look at this 12-piece homemade Colleen slime collection? Let's take a look at it. We are kicking it off with this amazing homemade orange neon slime. I don't remember which squishy show this was in or like which stress ball it was in, but I do know it is so neon, it is so cool. Just look at that, it almost looks like it's plastic. Looks like a mac and cheese slime, it is so pretty. Pop it out of here. That was that slime number one. It didn't have any chunks or kind of like little crunchy things in there, but it was so super smooth and it just looks like melted cheese. On to number two. This one right here was in one of Colleen's homemade squishies not too long ago, and from what I remember, it was like my favorite slime ever. This has these amazing little pearls, and it is just so clear and like translucent. Take a look, Ooh, I love this. Whoa, you guys, look at that. <laughs> it looks like a piece of art. It's so unreal how those little beads, they always drop to the bottom. I guess that is gravity. Look at that, whoa. This has always been my fave. The thing I love about this slime, it's not like it has just those clear white pearls. There are so many different colors. We got reds, blues, and it almost looks like a little sprinkles in there. So, so cool. Gonna save this one forever. Hopefully it won't dry out. I keep it in this little container. got 10 more of these slimes to squish on. I'm just going from left to right, so we did these two. Next one, ooh, I remember this. This was kind of like almost a galaxy foamy one. It's got foam balls, it's got sequins. It's really pretty.
I got a big old scoop of some birthday cake frosting. Oh, look at that, you guys. It's got so many different little components. It's got those foam balls that look like sprinkles. It has glitter, and I am loving this kind of galaxy purple color. So, so nice. Ooh, it even has little pearls. Look at that. She threw everything into this mixture. Actually, I came up with another name for this one. I'm gonna call this Unicorn Vomit. It looks like something a unicorn would throw up is beautiful. Let me just pop it back in and move on to the next. And right here we got four out of 12, and this is another goodie. This is one from maybe a couple weeks ago. Colleen made it. Sorry, my hands are a little wet. I washed the slime, and it is a sparkle. Ooh, if I can get it. Sparkle seashell slime. This is so amazing. I don't know how she got these little seashells to stick in there, but I love it. Look at that. This slime, in my opinion, is so super special just because she found probably about a hundred different shells. These are all real, and she told me she got them in Florida on vacation. So these are real seashells, so many different shapes and sizes. And then she put this beautiful like golden glitter. I don't know, it just reminds me of a tropical beach. It is so pretty to look at. It's almost like shells at the bottom of water, like a clear water. Still have eight more to go. Time for number five, and it is, ooh, I remember this one. It's like a blue funfetti cake batter slime. This one right here is also super special because now that I'm remembering, she actually put like a kind of a vanilla scent to it. This one is scented, and it looks like blue funfetti. Oh, I love those little foamy balls. Another funny thing about these foamy slimes is like when you put them in the container, all those little balls go to the bottom, but as soon as you start mashing it up, it kind of all blends together. But it looks cool either way. It looks so, so cool. Open. Made slime in number six, and if my memory serves me right, I did this I think last week. This came out of a SpongeBob plushie. Colleen put this inside of like a little SpongeBob, little squishy man, and it looks like chunky poop. Ooh, look at that! Ooh, I love that sound. The more and more I think about this one, I remember how ugh, messy it was. This thing is so gross. Kind of leaves brown spots everywhere, and it looks like poop or throw up. Ugh, looks so, so gross. But I love those little chunks in there. Ooh.
And that is that crunchy poop slime. This is like the messiest little squishy slime I think I've ever seen. But it is so cool to squish on. It just feels so weird. And you know what I think those little things are? The same ones you make the snow cone slime with. They almost look like little pieces of ice. Got number seven right here. And this one is so, so pretty. It almost reminds me of like Disney princess. I call it Beauty and the Beast slime. It's got all those pretty little sparkles and roses. It's a really good one. It's soft and crunchy at the same time. Five more slimes to look at and coming in at number eight we have the homemade Oscar the Grouch trash can slime. I think Colleen put like these little camouflage beads, some black glitter, and a gross looking green goo. Let's check it out. We have Colleen's Pink Sparkle Alphabet Bead Slime. Oh, this is so cool. Normally, if you make like all these little beads, you would use a super clear, but she made it clear and pink at the same time. And it looks really, really cool. Looks wild. Seriously, not 100% sure what she used in this one, but this is the most putty-like. It kind of feels like putty, super stretchy, and not as slimy as the other ones, but it is another fave of mine. It's just so, <laughs> I love those little blocks in there. Number 10, it is yellow with little rainbow speckles. Ooh, I don't even remember this one. Oh. Totally looks like a unicorn omelet. That's what it looks like. Got a little bowl of some bead soup. Look at that, it looks like eggs or cream. And all of these crunchy little pearly beads. She's been using these a lot lately and they are so cool in the slime. They just stick right on in there. Looking at the color of this one, it definitely looks like butter slime with that yellow buttery margarine color, but it definitely isn't. It's not spreadable. It is just colorful, chunky, and 
super slimy. Look at that. Probably one of the slimiest so far. the 4th of July, we have Colleen's homemade confetti slime. I mean, this literally looks like fireworks in a little container. There were so many confetti chunks in here. And from what I remember, this was super messy. I don't know, it made a big mess. Ooh. And it looks so, so cool. Look at that. to describe this it just speaks for itself I mean it is bright it is shiny it almost looks like little pieces of metal in there and it has kind of a prickly texture because these little confetti pieces are a little bit sharp but it is really awesome I mean look at that final of the 12 homemade slimes we get a little clear pearly bead one this is so so similar to that yellow but it just looks so awesome with that liquid glass slime look at that There's the whole gang together. This almost looks like a whole little bunch of takeout food containers, but they are filled with squishy slime. And I loved every single one of them. And I'd love for you, sweetie pies, to leave me a comment and let me know out of all these, which one was your fave? My fave is still, and I think always will be, the pearly one. Oh, it's so pretty. Looks like jewels. Until the next video, you little squishy teens, that is a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we are going to have so many more fun videos just like this coming up on the show. Lip balm, squishies, you name it. If you want to see similar videos like this, you can click on the left for a couple. And if you want to subscribe to Bubble Pop Kids, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.